Hi you crafters, Amy here and I have another pattern paper idea to share with you today. I used pattern paper and dies to make a secretary's day card. Now here I'm showing you a couple of five by seven card bases that I prepared. This is where I started, but I was asked to make two different secretary day cards for the staff at my daughter's school. Now this is the card that I'm gonna make for you today. You can see I did some stamping, um, some manual stamping with these alpha letter stamps, and I used some pattern paper and dies. Now all the products that I used will be linked in the video description box below if they're available, but I have this Hero Arts uh, sentiment stamp set, um, which I'm going to use the happy and the day from. And then the stamp set on the left is from Mama Elephant, and it's called, I believe, Bella Letters, and that's what I use to spell out the word secretaries. So I'm just loading these up in my Misty, and you can see I'm a little bit hesitant. I, I kind of have to have more of a plan here um, than I normally do, so I'm not completely winging it, but I sort of am. Um, so that's why you'll find that this is maybe in a little bit of a different order than I normally create, and um, when I have a custom order like this, I kind of have to put a little bit more thought into it, and especially when I don't have a sentiment um, for the occasion, like this being the case here. Um, I didn't have anything for Secretary's Day or Admin Professionals Day, so I kind of had to wing it. So here you can see I'm pulling out these little super cute letter stamps, and I'm just going to line them up um, using the line on my block here, just to make it as straight as possible. So I'm gonna spell out the word secretaries, um, but I do have to kind of manually draw in the apostrophe because there wasn't one on this set. So I'm just kind of showing you here how I'm lining them up, and then I'm holding my breath, and I'm freehand stamping this. Now, I could have ruined it all at this point, but here's my head and my gray hairs, don't mind those. Um, but I'm stamping it down here in between the happy and the day, and yay, it worked. <laughs> so here I have some pattern paper. Um, I have no idea if it's still available, but use up your stash, I know you've got it. Um, and I have this cool red kind of distressed um, wood panel floor here, and this is what I decided to use. It worked really well with that abandoned coral uh, distress oxide, and I'm going to use that gorgeous circle die from Simon Says Stamp. So you can see I've cut down the panel a little bit, so there's a nice white border from the 5x7 card base, and then I'm lining up this die and using some low-tack tape um, right in the center or top center rather of this panel and I'm going to run it off screen through my die cutting machine. So you can see it creates this gorgeous delicate little design um, but it creates such a nice focal point on the front of a card and it comes together super quickly. So I've used this with pattern paper, I've used it with um, different pre-made backgrounds. So if you want to check out those videos where I've used this die in a couple different ways, um, I'll link that in the video description box below. So here I have these um, dies from Pink Fresh Studio, and I'm just kind of laying them out on my design to make sure um, that they'll work with um, the layout. And I decided to run uh, the You Are Wonderful shadow layers through on this really pretty gold um, metallic cardstock. And then I decided to run the words on some black cardstock. So I'm gonna run these again through my die cutting machine off screen to get the little pieces parts ready to go. And then I'll pop them out and I'll attach the black words onto the gold um, shadow layers. And that's gonna create the sentiment for the front of the card. Now I couldn't find my little picky tool here and I was a bit of a, a struggle bus here trying to get out wonderful. But if you can't find your picky tool, use your low tack tape and kind of pull it out there. So there's a little tip for you. If you can't get it out of your die cut and slamming it on your desk like I did, did <laughs> doesn't work either. Um, but here I'm just applying some adhesive to the back of this pattern paper. And I didn't want to use the tape runner with um, on the portion that has the little bit of floral because I would probably rip it. So here I'm coming in carefully with some liquid glue, just kind of adding it to the back of the leaves. Um, I should have done it on the stems as well. I didn't really want it to ooze out, but do yourself a favor and add it to the back of the stems too, just so that doesn't kind of pop up and accidentally, you know, get torn or anything um, while it's in transit or, or anything like that. So. Here I'm just attaching it to the 5x7 card base and then I'm going to 
put down the sentiments kind of in the layout that I planned, but I'm making sure it's adhered down really well. Um, so here again, I'm just lining them up, making sure, kind of doing the you are at a little bit of an angle. I thought it was kind of cute with the, the design of the card in the circle. So here I'm just getting it nice and centered how I want it here, fiddling around for, you know, what felt like a year. <laughs> so I attached those down with some liquid glue and then I have some gold blingage here. These are um, glitter sequins in three different sizes. So one side is a little bit more matte finish and then the other side is the, you know, proper glitter side. So here I'm just kind of working in odd numbers here and laying it out throughout the composition. And then I will use my jewel picker tool here to attach it down with some liquid glue. Again, when I'm done messing around with it and figuring out <laughs> how I want to do it. But I did end up making um, two different cards. I didn't film the other one, but these were actually for um, my daughter's art teacher reached out and asked if I would make them for the staff at my daughter's school. So we have two lovely ladies that work um, in the front office at her school and she asked me to make these to uh, have everybody sign and pass around at the school to celebrate them and all the ways that they you know, help out at my daughter's school. So I hope they enjoy them. Um, I love, I really like how it turned out and I hope you do too. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I will link all the products that I used in the video description box below if you expand that area and scroll down. And I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.